My name's Ajani Wallace, also known as AJ, and this is Getting to Know Me. Uh, to be honest, I just tried playing other sports and no, I didn't really like it. Obviously, I tried football, I even tried karate, taekwondo, but I didn't like them after like one session and then my first session of rugby, I was getting bashed about by people older than me and I was just, I fell in love with it to be honest. That's, that's probably why I started, yeah. So I are at a, a team called St Joseph Sharks in Huddersfield, far town, and um, I always played for the year above. And by the time I got to, I think 13, 14, I wanted to get recognised by some better clubs. So I went to a top team like Siddle, and played with my own age group and that's how I got to Leeds Rhino scholarship and at Siddle I did find a lot of um, achievements. We won the league, won the National Cup final and yeah, a lot of success came from me moving to Siddle. Um, enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it then you're not going to play well are you? If you think about it too much, nerves will get to you. But if you just enjoy it and remember why why you got picked and why you're here and everything, you'll go far. Probably just the people, the the atmosphere, the way everyone is around you. It's like no one's above you, no one's you're not you're not above anyone, everyone's just might sound a bit cheesy but everyone's a big family. Uh, well, my contract's going to be coming up to an end, end of this year. So just signing a contract, staying with the club as long as possible and improving as much as possible. I'd probably say powerful. As a person, I'm pretty awkward. Um, good lucky. So I was at Siddle and obviously I get into the age where I saw clubs all over the place, I saw scouts from Bradford, Huddersfield and even Leeds and I remember Barry, Barry came up to me and he was always being nice to me and talking to me and yeah so kind of I knew I was going to Leeds from the start to be honest so yeah. Uh, I would probably say my most memorable moment was uh, getting player of the year, uh, my first year of Leeds scholarship but it was just 15 years old, I went to uh, one of them meals and I was just seeing all these. I was seeing Sinfield, Jamie Jones talking at the front, and it was just, I was, I, when they called my name for Ryan, I was player of the year, I was mind blown. And then they called me up on stage and made me do a speech, and it was the worst speech I've ever done in my life. They took a video and I entered at the end of it, so, but yeah, that was probably the best moment. Most of that, I don't think Leeds fans are going to like this, but it's been most of the Islanders, so stuff like, Ben Murdoch Masilla and this guy called Jason Tomalolu in NRL. They're just big Tongan players, they 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 inspire me the most, yeah. Uh, lockdown it was pretty hard because obviously it was my first year in the uh, 19s and obviously we played like three games and we were just getting into it and the next thing you know we thought we were going into two week lockdown and it ended up being about what was it nine months or something. So yeah but the thought of Leeds kept me going, just keeping fit keeping the ball in my hand and just being ready for when I come back so that was the only thing that kept me going through lockdown. So I've just finished college and um, the only thing on my mind right now is rugby and I want to go as far as possible so I've got the opportunity to put all my focus into rugby right now so that'll be it.